We have a cosmic energy crisis. Our universe seems to mischievously display much more energy than we can account for. This hidden energy is twofold. One is due to the recessional motion of galaxies across vast distances, dark energy. The other due to the faster than expected rotational speeds of galaxies, dark matter. To date, both problems are unsolved. Ghostly fields and particles have been proposed, but none detected, notwithstanding very sophisticated and expensive experiments, especially for dark matter, such as the LOX and Xenon-1T experiments. As a physicist who has a deep interest in trying to know the nature of our cosmic home, this dark state of affairs has bothered me immensely, compelling me to attack the problem myself. Let us imagine we live in a disc-shaped universe, much larger than our observable universe, and whose space-time is inherently rotating, at an angular speed equal to Hubble's constant, and with some small precession. What effects would we observe, in addition to gravity? Well, across vast intergalactic distances, some trace of a cosmic axis of rotation, effect of a cosmic centrifugal force acting smoothly across vast distances, expanding and accelerating our universe, a form of Hubble's law for the recessional speeds of galaxies, and inside individual galaxies, on average, cosmic Coriolis force dominating over the dispersive effects of centrifugal force and joining forces with gravity, thus furnishing faster galactic rotations than what can be afforded by gravity alone. Gravity dominating in and near the galactic center, Coriolis force dominating near the galactic edges, centrifugal force dominating beyond the galactic edges. Also, natural emergence of an average galactic acceleration parameter in the order of 10 to the minus 10 meters per second squared. But, do we indeed observe these effects in our universe? Yes, we do. Each and every one of them. My paper on this model was turned down by the mainstream journals on cosmology. The strongest objection is the claim that our universe is isotropic, not anisotropic like my model implies. But there are strong observational indications of a cosmic axis of evil that the current isotropic model is having a hard time explaining. In the absence of established observation-based theories, I prefer my own speculative idea over that of others.